So we need to solve the first, first order differential equation. Let's start by rewriting it as, uh, uh, so we will divide both uh, sides of this equation by dt. So we get the t squared times dy over dt equals 8 ln squared of t minus dy. Now let's add dy to both sides and we get the t squared dy over dt plus dy equals 8 ln squared of t. Now we can divide both sides of this equation by t squared and we get the dy over dt plus y over t equals 8 ln squared of t over t squared. Well, now we can compare this equation with the standard form of uh, a first order linear differential equation, which is uh, dy over dt plus py equals q. So when we compare them, we get that in our case, p equals one over t and q equals eight ln squared of t over t squared. Now when we know p and q, we can find the integrating factor um, as an integrating factor. So integrating factor equals e to the power of integral of p dt. So it equals e to the power of integral of uh, one over t dt. So it equals e to the power of ln of t. So it equals t. Uh, well, now uh, we know that in order to find the solution, we need to write down y times integrating factor equals uh, the integral of q times integrating factor dt. Um, well, let's substitute the expressions for integrating factor and q and we get y times t equals the integral of 8 ln squared of t over t squared times t dt. Then yt equals 8 times integral of ln squared of t uh, over t dt. So now let's integrate the right side and we get that yt equals 8 over 3 times ln cubed of t plus some arbitrary constant c. Now we will divide both sides by t and we get that y equals 8 thirds times, uh, or actually we can write it down like 8 over 3t times ln cubed of t plus c over t where c is still a constant. And this is a general solution